I want to talk about abandonment. And it's just another way of looking at a tennis tactic or a tennis strategy, uh, this concept of abandonment. So a lot of players, they will choose to abandon the line, right? Abandon the line in their positioning so that they could use their forehand inside out. So on this particular point here, I went with that. Um, I served here on the deuce side, and now I'm, I'm starting to just abandon this whole spot because I want to use my forehand inside out here. And, you know, I just, I don't care. I don't really care if Daniel goes up the line. If he does go up the line, and you know, I'll catch up and try to go cross court. But in my thinking, I'm not going to care about that. I'm not going to care about the line. So here I'm slowly shifting to the left slowly shifting to the left i hit this backhand and now you know usually i, I should re really recover here a little bit but um i'm choosing to just cheat to the left a little bit and just abandon so i, I shift again to the left i'm really at the corner here and now i have this forehand inside out that i could do went with that and finally i get a short ball and i went up the line there for the winner and so that's just one concept of abandonment, abandoning the line so that I can use a forehand inside out. What else can you abandon? Well, if you're a net player, what are you abandoning? You're abandoning the baseline here. So here I am serving volleying and I'm going up to the net so that I could take the ball early as possible and hopefully win some points at the net there. So as a net player, what you're doing is abandoning the baseline. You don't care about hitting ground strokes. You don't care about hitting forehand ground strokes or backhand ground strokes. You care about approaching the net and pressuring your opponent. And you just don't care. You don't care about the baseline. Yeah, maybe use it to set up points, but you are in attack mode as a servant volleyer or simply as a net rusher. You are abandoning the baseline. So we've abandoned the line. We've abandoned the baseline. What else can we abandon? Well, we could abandon the net or the actual midcourt here. So here I am. Um, I just returned the ball to Daniel here. And when I, I chose to recover, I chose to recover back several feet behind the baseline. And this was because Daniel was hammering balls all day and um, he was hitting a lot of powerful shots. So I chose to just abandon the, the net, even abandoning the, the midcourt area so that I can play some good defense and just get the ball back and see if I could win the point. So here I am just hanging back, right? I'm hanging back. I'm not coming up even to the baseline. I'm hang, hanging back here way several feet behind the baseline. I'm off screen. And now oh, st I'm still hanging back here, just playing defense here. And now I get a little short ball, but I, again, I chose to hang back. I'm still going back here. And I finally got an unforced error from uh, Daniel. So again, just another perspective, another way of playing tennis is just to abandon the net, abandon the midcourt, and maybe even abandoning the baseline itself. I, I just went several feet behind the baseline so that I could stay in the points, stay in the rallies, and maybe create opportunities that way. So when you think about a tennis tactic or strategy, think about abandoning something, abandoning the line, the baseline, or the net, so that you could focus on something uh, that is more positive for your game. Fo focus on your strengths, basically. And I know it may seem strange to abandon a big portion of the court, but that's what you have to do sometimes. You have to take a little risk. You have to uh, change up some things, make adjustments, and really try to go for something that is very beneficial for your game. You can't cover the whole court. You know, if yes, if you were Rafael Nadal, um, yes, you could cover the whole court, but even he chooses to abandon the line uh, so that he could go for his inside out forehand. So think about that a little bit when you, um, you know, implement a strategy or tactic, abandon something in your game or abandon a positioning on the court. If you enjoyed this video, kindly do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.